I've just looked at this and I'm I'm struggling here, Gab. So I'll ask you, who would be your surprise package this season? For me, Nottingham Forest. Um, very impressive for last season when Steve Cooper um, took charge, beat two Premier League clubs um, in the FA Cup. And they've had some players that have got rid of and have left and they've brought in a lot of exciting players. Jesse Lingard, for instance, Dean Henderson um, has, has gone there as well. So I think Nottingham Forest were a team that turns the city ground into a fortress as well. Mm. Similar to like Sheffield United done in their first season, I reckon. Really? Yeah, no, that was a good good shout. I, I do think they'd be favourites to stay up out of the three yeah. that's come up. Um, I'm going to, players-wise, I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing Jesus now as the main man because at Man City he probably wasn't, was he, all his career? I know he's played his big part in, in um, getting into the side uh, for Man City and winning four Premier Leagues himself. But I'm really looking forward to him saying now, I'm going to play every game, I'm going to score your goals, but I'm going to stick my neck out and now I'm a little bit 50-50. But if he if he starts a season like he's done in pre-season, he's looked very, very good. Saliba at centre-half, Al. Where did Arsenal. he come from, Reed? Well, he's a Frenchman. Uh, he's only 21. He's, he started for the national side already. So you've got to be half decent if you're, going to, if you're going to start for your national side. But uh, it's an opportunity for him now. I don't think Mikel Arteta fancied him at first, but I think he showed in pre-season that he can do a job. Uh, and if he improves like they hope he will, then he could be a surprise package. OK. Uh, Gabby, Villa, bottom half last season. 14th, wasn't it? Yeah. Surely they've got to improve on that. Yeah, I feel they have to be top half. Um, Steven Gerrard will definitely demand that of his players. He's got... Coutinho now um, on a permanent, you know, Carlos centre half looks very good. Yeah. Physical, strong, quick, can play as well. So that squad of players Aston Villa have got now now need to turn it on. You know, last season there were a lot of like times where they missed chances when they could have wrapped the game up and ended up losing points. Top ten. And then McGinn's, McGinn's top a fight, um, yeah. captain yeah. now, isn't he? Yeah. McGinn. Uh, do you think really? that'll take, like take you think that'll take his game onto the next level as a midfielder, that extra yeah, responsibility? I think, I think it will. Um obviously Mings won't won't, won't be happy. No. But, he's, but he's as, a, as a as a as a pro, you, well. yeah, you get on with it. You get on with it. You know, it happens and if it makes the team better, mm. then great, no problem at all. But I, I really do like McGinn. Yeah. I think really, he's a top what about player. Brighton? Surprise package last season, weren't they? That's some unbelievable nine. results at times. So is that going to be hard to um, do better or, or finish well, we just, the same. We've just read on the uh, on the t- on the TV, out, wasn't it? On Sky saying Cucurella's there's no there's deal no there. Deal, there's, there's no deal. There's going no to deal Chelsea. Been done. No. I'm sure that what they do so well, they've got principles, haven't they? They say, right, well, no, we don't want to sell our players, but if we do sell our players, they're going to be top money. People argue that Ben White was Arsenal bought him for too much money. He's been a I decent like signing. Yeah, he's been a I decent like signing. But they get the, the money they want. They don't get pushed into a corner to say, "Well, no, we, we're not going to give you thirty million. No, we want fifty, or you don't get our player." And I think Cucurelli could well, be. That's, t- that's Tony for you, be, isn't it? Yeah, they, they know how to do the business. Um, but I'd say mid mid table for again is a, a good season for Brighton. Would Gab- you? Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. No, it's so you. competitive. Yeah. We know how competitive the league is. Gab, can anyone break in the top six? Are we going to get a surprise package? Someone getting in there? Some people say Newcastle can't. Listen, listen. That I, is I, a I, real I think, hard task. I think Manchester City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Spurs. Uh, they, they will be in the top five for me. I feel like sixth. It's not guaranteed for no Manchester West United. Ham. I don't. I think West Ham will drop off this season. Um, Why? I think I West Ham will be like, okay. Yeah, Keep me Declan Rice. Yeah, but I feel, I, feel, I feel like teams like Newcastle, the way they ended last season at St. James's Park, no one wanted to play there under Eddie Howe. I feel they could be the surprise package. Villa should be looking at them pushing into the top six, top seven European places. You look, at, you look at Villa's squad and West Ham's squad, I think you've got to say Villa's got a better squad man for man. Yeah. Declan Rice is a star player, of course, but man for man, Go I'd on. rather Villa's Villa side. Villa got Coutinho... Ings, Watkins, McGinn. I think West Ham have got solid players, haven't they? Yeah. Creswell, Zuma. But Bowen was brilliant last year. You know, you've got the two Czech players who are always consistent. Uh, they bought another striker in there, six foot five, who's pretty mm. mobile. You know, he holds the ball up well, can bring Bowen in. And yeah, I think West Ham are being Walls, Walls. Yeah, what about Walls one, one last one? What about Southampton? Are they going to struggle? They've got signed a Rebo. He's a good player from Rangers. You know about yeah, him. He's a good player. But, yeah, that's. It's going to be tough, isn't it, Ray? It's going to be it's, it's, get, it's getting harder and harder, the Premier League now. Teams, I'm for Everton. Yeah. 
I know, I know, look, Everton, he's you know such he's a out. massive club. Calvert-Lewin's out. Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison's gone. They need to make a few signings yeah. before the season's... Well, the season's starting, obviously, this weekend. Before the end of the transfer window, yeah. they need to make a couple of signings, I think. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.